What's going on, guys? How we doing today? Eagles Nation, Sixers Nation, Phillies Nation. How about them Phillies, bro? What are they, like 4-0 now? I don't even watch baseball, but man, I'm proud of that shit. When Philly sports are doing good, we're doing good. You know what I mean? Hey, getting Joel Embiid back on the 76ers. I know we just had a tough loss to the Grizzlies. I know Ben Simmons is a bum. But it don't matter. Joel is going to take them to the promised land. No ifs, ands, or buts. I'm telling y'all. Be on the lookout. All right. But let's talk about what we're really here for. We're here for the Eagles. Eagles news, whatever. Um, you know, ain't been much news lately. A lot of talk about what we're going to do at 12. You know, who we're going to draft. And I could throw out names at y'all, but y'all don't need that. Y'all know the names. You watch these videos. You know, y'all y'all know who you're looking for. Um you know, I'm just going to keep repeating what I said before. <laughs> People are going to be pissed when the Eagles draft a D lineman in the first round of this draft because I really believe it's about to happen. I, I just, I look at Devontae Smith, too good to be true. He could never be an Eagle. We don't get that luxury as Eagles fans to get the names like that. You know what I mean? So Devontae Smith, probably not going to happen, you know. Micah Parsons, maybe, but I doubt it. I'm trying so hard not to get my hopes up on that dude. What about that linebacker from Notre Dame? He might be a little after 12. You know, he might fall a little later, but bro, trade back up into the first round, late first round, and pick up someone like him? Shit, I'm game. I really believe that we are about to draft like two, three, four defensive players in the first round of this draft. We have no defense guys we have Fletcher Cox and we have Darius Slay and that is it we have no safeties we have one corner we have one linebacker and I love Alex Singleton but he is not the long-term option there unless he gets swole quick and I don't see that happening not at 26 you just don't at his age he is not going to get much bigger you know what I mean? He is already 26, 27 years old, somewhere in there. He's grown. You know, people are like, oh, if he gets his arms bigger. No, that's him. That's who he is. TJ Edwards, maybe if he gets some cover skills, he could be better. But I don't really, I, I'm not I'm not holding out too much hope on that either. You know, he's a little bit younger, but, you know, I, you don't get faster as you get older either. And that's his biggest problem. Um, you know, I think Duke Riley's gone. Nate Gary's gone. You know, Davion Taylor, I don't know, man. I don't even know who dude is. You know, like, maybe he takes a step. That'd be cool. But right now, we got no linebackers. You know, it, none. Um, you know, and then pass rusher. You know, Josh Sweat's cool, but they don't want to play him. They're so scared of his knee blowing out. You know, and that scares me. What's going on that we don't see? You know what I mean? Everyone calling for Sweat to start, you know, and to get more reps, but... You know, what happens if he blows that knee out and then he's done forever? You ruin his whole career, you know, because that, you know, he knew he was, he wasn't meant for it. You know, we knew he wasn't meant for a full-time role, you know, and we put him in it and now he's hurt. You know, it, you just, you got to be careful. BG ain't getting any younger. I don't like Derek Barnett. You know, a lot of people give me shit for that. I, I, Derek Barnett's a bust, bro. I'm sorry. Oh, he's 23, 24. Either you can play or you can't play. You know, yeah, I know some guys make a jump after a couple years. Some guys switch schemes, blah, 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 blah. Derek Barnett's a bum. All his sacks, watch his sacks. They all come off tight ends, unblocked, mismatched shit, like overload blitz, like when we ran them with Jim Schwartz, of course. You know, it, he, I think Trent Williams is about the only tackle in the league that he can beat, and that don't make no goddamn sense to me. No sense. You know, so I, I think we're going defense. I think y'all need to buckle up. I see all these people talking about, I'll be happy with Devin Smith. I'll be happy with Kyle Pitts. You know, I'll, I'll be happy with this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. Well, start looking up your DNs, yo. <laughs> start looking up the DNs in this draft. D tackles, DNs, and maybe the Lord will bless us with a linebacker, but I doubt it. You know, I don't trust Howie. Um, you know, I talked... Talking about Jalen Hurts the other day, I don't really want to get too much into him. I got a video coming in a couple days, you know, something I'm actually working on, you know, where I articulate sentences and shit like that, you know, some stuff I don't normally do, but, you know, I'm going I'm to work on a little Jalen Hurts something, something for y'all, and I'm trying to push out a Howie Roseman vid um, before draft day. Hopefully that hits before draft day. 
you know, it'd probably be a lot more popular if it does, you know, but if it doesn't, it doesn't, whatever. It's going to be like a two or three parter anyway. So, you know, if you missed the first step, you know, the first video or whatever, you know, just come back, let me know, watch it, tell me what you think. Um, anyway, guys, I'm pulling back up in the crib now. I just wanted to chat at y'all real quick about the draft, let y'all know, get ready to draft the D lineman. All right, y'all. Peace.